Now, since you are the seed of Heracles the Invincible, courage. Zeus has not yet turned away from us. Do not fear the multitude of their men, nor run away from them. For each man should bear his shield straight at the foremost ranks, and make his heart a thing that hates life, and hold the black flying spirits of death as dear as he holds the flashes of the sun. You know what havoc is the work of the painful war god. You have learned well how things go in exhausting war, for you have been with those who ran, and with the pursuers. O young men, you have had as much of both as you want. Those who, standing their ground and closing their ranks together, endure the onset at close quarters and fight in the front, they lose fewer men. They also protect the army behind them. Once they flinch, the spirit of the whole army falls apart, and no man could count over and tell all the number of evils, all that come to a man once he gives way to disgrace. For once a man reverses and runs in terror of battle, he offers his back, a tempting mark to spear from behind. And it is a shameful sight when a dead man lies there in the dust, driven through from behind by the stroke of an enemy's spear. No, no, let him take a wide stance and stand up strongly against them, digging both his heels into the ground, biting his lip with his teeth, covering thigh and leg beneath, his chest and his shoulders under the hollowed-out protection of his broad shield, while in his right hand he brandishes the powerful war-spear and shakes terribly the crest high above his helm. Our men should be disciplined in the work of the heavy fighter, and not stand out from the missiles when he carries a shield, but go right up and fight at close quarters and, with his long spear or short sword, thrust home and strike his enemy down. Let him fight toe to toe, and shield against shield, hard driven, crest against crest, and helmet on helmet, crest against crest. Let him close hard, and fight it out with his opposite foe, holding tight the hilt of his sword, or his long spear, and you, O light armoured fighters, from shield to shield of your fellows dodge for protection, and keep steadily throwing great stones, and keep on pelting the enemy with your javelins. Only remember always to stand near your own heavy armoured men.' 